Okay, so in this particular video, we're going to talk about how to change the flint and properly fuel a Zippo lighter. What we have here is we have three lighters. We're going to go ahead and look at all three of them. And I'm going to show you a way to properly store an extra flint inside your lighter. So we have three lighters here. This particular lighter right here in the center, what I've done is if you take it apart and look at it, and look down inside here if you just pull up the insulation a little bit and then tap that thing out of there what I've got is I've got a, a uh, extra flint right here if you look at it this is a Zippo flint this is an actual Zippo product it's really small but um, what it is is it's, it's slightly bigger than the aftermarket flint so it's really your choice on whatever type of flint you want to use uh, as long as it's for a wick lighter or a Zippo product, you can you can surely use it. You can either use the aftermarket or the Zippo one. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and change out the flint or add a flint to this lighter with our extra flint that I removed from the lighter itself. What I did was pull up the insulation. I stored it underneath there. So you got your uh, extra flint out of there. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and look at this Zippo. Right here, we've got this screw with a spring in it. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pull this out of here. you got to just slightly turn it. Some people use a screwdriver, a small screwdriver on that little slot. I call it an electrician screwdriver, but you don't really need that because it's only hand tight. So you're going to pull that spring right there out of there. You're going to set it down on the table, and then you're going to take your flint, your tiny little flint, and you're going to drop it down inside that hole, dropping it straight down inside that hole, okay? So you've dropped it down in there, and then you're going to go ahead and take your spring assembly and set it back down in the hole, giving it a very slight push. It's going to seem harder than it was when there is no flint in there, but you want to go ahead and maintain the downward pressure on it until you grab a uh, thread. Once you've got a thread and you know that it's not going to pop back out, you're safe. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and tighten that back down, and it's not going to be real tight. You can use that little screwdriver if you want to. I do it by hand. It's got a knurled edge. So just go until it feels snug. Once it feels snug and it doesn't want to turn anymore, then you know you're good. So you've got to put it back together just like that. Now if you notice on most and all Zippo lighters, you've got this extra hole right here. We're going to go ahead and look at this other one too. We're going to see that this one has an additional hole on it also, okay? So then we're going to look at this tiny little Zippo right here and we're going to see that this one also has that additional hole right there. A lot of people wonder what that's for. Is it for an extra flint? Is it What is it for? Well, what it's for is the original design was uh, designed for you to go ahead and put your fluid in through that hole. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do today. We're going to demonstrate how to do that. And what you want to do is you want to use a, a uh, Zippo product or Ronsonol fluid. You can use Ronsonol fluid. It's a Zippo approved product. If you notice right here on the label, it says that uh, that it is a Zippo product. Now, keep in mind, this is, this is combustible. It's a combustible fluid. You want to store it um, away from other flammables. You also want to store it in a clean, dry place. Never, I repeat, never use this product around an open flame or a lit cigarette. You don't want to do that. It's a safety hazard. Now, the proper way to open these things, a lot of people go ahead and use their buck knife. They get down in here and they take their knife and they, they try to lift this thing up right here or they use their sharp fingernail and dig down in there. What happens is you, uh, what you damage this hole right here and then your stream of fluid comes out in a, in a, in a weird way. So, so the proper way to go ahead and open one of these things is to take a ballpoint pen or you can go ahead and use a pencil, whatever is readily available to you. And you want to take this uh, Ronsonol bottle of fluid, you stick it underneath the tip of the tip of the nozzle right there and just slightly lift up on it until it's high enough where you can get your finger under it. That way you're not going to go ahead and damage your bottle of fluid, all right? So here we go. We've got our Zippo taken apart and we've got that extra hole in it. What you want to do is you want to slightly turn this upside down and set it down inside that hole. We're putting it inside the hole. Now, now if you don't know about how long it takes to actually put fluid in your lighter until it's full, because it's real important not to overfill your lighter. What you can do is you can slightly lift up on your insulation right here and then pour the fluid inside underneath the insulation on top of the cotton. Now when you go ahead and you see a little bit of moisture on top of your cotton, you're probably full. So you want to go ahead and set that back down like that. Put your 
uh, insulation back down like that. And then you go ahead and put this back down inside your lighter right here. Close it up for a second. So we've got this thing properly filled up. We don't want to overfill these because what happens is the fluid will leak out through here. And if you set it inside your pocket, you're most likely going to get a, uh, a burn or a rash on your skin from doing that. So after we've gone ahead and filled it, in the previous video I showed you how to properly adjust your wick with the proper height. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and light it. And if you'll notice, we have about a 3 8 to a half inch flame. And it's going to rise up a little bit in the beginning, but it's going to slowly come back down. This is a windproof ladder. That's what I love about Zippos is you can wave them around, flap them around, the wind blows on them, you still have a flame. So what you've done is you successfully changed your flint and fueled your lighter without overfilling it. And that's your instructional video on how to do this. Thank you, America.